Here we go, Fox versus Kamiki Yuri. Jumping in right here on to face off these this game's FD. No platforms, only pure skill and or cheese and or sometimes both. Right now, Snest Trash, which is a huge 60% uh, Fox combo, does not get the forward, sp uh, forward air spike, but gets a back air for the troubles. Goes deep for that back air, not able to find it though, but only taking a 9% for their troubles. Cause a thrown out hitbox is trying to get closer, but Snest Trash ready and hits that huge back air. Very fast and very strong back air coming out from Fox. Able to clean up Kaze's first stock in a matter of seconds. Barely eight or barely 30 seconds have passed since he's taken that stock. And uh, Snest Fresh still in control before that back air and double neutral specials coming out from Kaze. She able to make things work here. Ooh, got that down tilt into grab, into up air, into so much is coming out. Up airs, forward airs, everything's coming out from Fox. Kaze has nowhere to go but to the blast zone. But Kaze able to find a small reprieve right here, gets back air, gets shielded, into four throw, into up air. And it's looking dicey, up air's coming out. And Kaze just in the up air loop, tries to get a down special counter, but Snest Fresh a little too wise. that I also don't think it quite works on Fox's up air. And now Snest Fresh with the Fox loops, and this is looking like a very, very quick three stock, not quite. Hasn't even been two minutes yet. Ooh, Skaze gets the side view reversal, catching Snestfresh a little bit off guard. Can Taze take a stock? Oh, gets the back air, gets parried, forward throw into more up air loops. Skaze trying to find an answer, gets the side B, gets the fastball side B, but not able to convert to a stock, gets the down special, and that is going to be a stock for Kaze. Kamiki Yudi has a very big snowball effect, but Snestfresh has a very long forward smash animation. That'll seal the deal. Frame perfect ad, yep. The frame perfect ad really ruining this uh, game number one, which went decisively in SNES Fresh's favor. If you want to catch the rest of that game, well, uh, make sure you subscribe to Shadox VG on RS Docs or whatever on YouTube where you can catch this full set and all the Flashpoint sets of Yonder's Past. Shameless self-promotion. <laughs> Man is plugging. <laughs> uh, it's it's flash party. Everyone's plugging. The game itself is plugging. The game itself sometimes says, "You want a combo?" Nah. Alright, game number two, we'll see if they switch it up. Nope, we're gonna run it right back, except on a different stage. Deep Sea Dancing, one of the newest stage added on SS2. Whatever you do, don't get go back to pass outs, because you probably used to see me using that exact same line. Because I swear I'm an original and not I'm an original a commentator who does not reuse lines and catchphrases. Clearly. Anyways. Game starting off pretty much the same as it was on face-off on FD. Stats fresh with these loops coming out. Tries to follow it up. It actually does. I thought I thought the side B whipping was going to spell Doom, but Snaz Fresh able to get an up air off of it. Use for positioning sake. Catches the stall with the back air. And that is a, a zero to death minus six percent on two cause a hits a back air. Not able to find much off of it though. Down tilt into up air, very, very solid coming combo coming out. Tries to get his uh, side B off, but Snestfresh actually whiffing, of, uh, whiffing the Fox combo, but of course, means absolutely nothing to one of the best Flash Party players in the world. Able to find an advantage of state once again. Once again, catching Kaze in these up air loops, trading the last hit of the side special with, I believe, a back air. A worthwhile trade. Sides B is up into an up air, and right now, this is looking even worse for Kaze than on face off. And that's a back air, and it's, again, it's barely been a minute, and Kaze's already on his last stock of game number two. Snest Fresh kind of opening up the entire bracket here. Falling up air to down tilt. 
Uh, Kaze, not quite enough percent for that to confirm. Kaze has a little bit of a lease on life here, but we'll see what they're able to do with it. Uh, down tilt into not quite more down tilts. Sensor doesn't have all the Fox combos, but he has enough to make it work. Gets a neutral air. Trying to fit these more up airs. Falling up airs, rising up airs, sideways up airs, slant waves up airs, down air, down airs, up airs. Everything's an up air. Go throwing out more up airs here. Forward up air into up air into fourth throw into up air, up air. And not quite killing. And a huge up air to seal the set. A huge back air up air to seal the game. Sorry. For SNES Fresh and it's going up 2 0 over Kaze. These games have been very, very dominant. As many Smash Ultimate players would say, Kazuya Mishima. <laughs> Fox Mishima. And Kaze switching onto the Cookie and Can. That's an interesting pick versus Fox. Of course, Cookie and Can, a very, very proficient zoner. It's a lot of projectiles that can mess with you, mess with your recoveries, and has even has a burst option that sucks you in and spits you right back out into the loving arms of a charged blast. So we'll see if Kaze is able to find a uh, a rebuttal with this cookie and can, or if Snass Fresh will exert his dominance over this bracket and take it 3-0 once again. Jumping right into this game three. Kaze goes for the dash attack, but dashes right into a down tilt and up, and I'm not even going to try to call out all these moves, uh, just know that this is called a fox loop, and it is called a zero to death on SNES Fresh, this counter pick, this counter pick uh, is so far looking very dire, it looks like it's just easier combo fodder for SNES Fresh to make do with hitting all the down tilts in the world, parrying Kaze's falling back air, saying, I know exactly what you want, you should have stayed, you're Kamiki Yuri. Your cooking can means nothing in the face of zero death combos. That's a 28% rebuttal. A 28 means nothing to a stock and 76 in change. Almost has a full dollar in change. That'll get you a lot back in the 1990s, but here in 2024, it'll only get you a stock, but sometimes a stock is all you need to prove yourself as a dominant force. Gets the ledge guard though, Kaze. Tries to catch an early upbeat from SNES Fresh, but SNES Fresh knows what Kaze wants. And he knows exactly what he wants, which is a second stock and a, another dominant showing so far from SNES Fresh. But Kaze doing a little bit better. Almost has the first stock off of SNES Fresh. Throwing out these projectiles, showing what Cooking Can is a good zoner. And SNES Fresh actually falls into the forward smash. And now is Kaze has cut it down to only a one stock deficit. Which still is a pretty big gap to fill, but is not as bad as two stocks. But once again, caught in these loops. And Cookie and Can is suffering. Cookie and Can look more like Cookie and Trash Can. Because this, uh, this Cookie and Can is getting dumped in the trash. Huge, uh, huge back air comes out. And that is going to be SNES Fresh taking that third game even easier than the first two. And moving on in this bracket, but there's no time to waste as we head into our second match of top eight. 